Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. So in this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a strongly random password in JavaScript. To do so, I'm going to be creating a random password generator function so that it's reusable and also you'll be able to determine the length of the randomly generated password by passing in a numeric argument to the function when you call it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new function and this function is going to be the random password generator function. So I'm going to call it create password. And the first thing I want to do inside here is to create a new empty string. And I'm going to save that to a variable called password. So what I'm going to do eventually is assign the value of the password I create to this variable. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is to create a new variable that will contain all of the characters that could appear in the new password. So I'm going to name this Charles and I'm going to copy and paste a string containing a lot of characters in here. Now I'm including lowercase, uppercase letters, also numbers and special symbols. If you don't want any of these to appear in the passwords that you generate, then simply delete these from this string. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to specify how long the password generated should be. So I'm going to create a new variable here called password length. And I want the value of this to be dynamic, dependent upon the number that's passed into the function when it's called. So I'm going to add a parameter here called length, and I'm going to set the value of password length to whatever length is. Now to make sure that this password is strongly random, I want to use the get random values method, which is available on window.crypto to assign random values. So to do that, I need to create a special type of array. So I'll start by creating a new variable called array. Now, instead of calling the array object constructor and passing in length like this, what I'm going to do is to create a new special type of object. It's going to be an unsigned integer 32 array. So the number 32 here refers to the fact that each array element is going to be 32 bit in size and unsigned specifies that the array should only contain positive values. So if you create an int 32 array, it could contain negative numbers. You don't want that in this case. And as an argument, we pass in length. So this is going to create a new unsigned integer 32 bit array of length, whatever that is when we call the function. Now for this special array type, I can use the get random values method, which is available on crypto. So I'll access that now. It's under window crypto .get random values, and then you pass in the array that you want to set the random values to. Now I'll console log this array so you can see the contents of it. So I need to call console log array. I also need to call the function and I need to give it a length of say five. Now over in the browser, you can see that I have an unsigned integer array and it is of length five. Because we use the get random values method to assign these values, they are strongly random. So if I pull up the reference on MDN web docs, you see that this method lets you get cryptographically strong random values. Now even the get random values method does not generate perfectly random values, but the values it generates are much more random than you would get using math.random. And this is because ironically, math.random isn't that random. It was created for small tasks on the front end. So if you care about randomness, which you would do if you're generating a password, it's better to use get random values. Okay, so now back in the create password function, what I need to do before I provide a return value for this function is to actually select uh, characters from this string with the random, strongly random values that I have assigned to this special array. So to do that, I'm going to create a loop and for each iteration in this loop, it's going to assign one of these characters to the password string variable. So I'm going to use a for loop and I want i to start at zero and I want this loop to break when i is no longer less than length. And i should increase in value by one each time the loop runs. Now inside the loop, what I want to do is add a new string value to the current value of the password string. So to do that, I can type password and then the plus equals operator. And what I want to add each time is a value from the character set. And the value that I want to add each time, I'm going to determine using the random values. So if I select the value array i, 
this isn't going to work because this is going to be the random value that was generated, which is very large indeed. What I need to do is to make sure that the value is no greater than the length of the character set array. So a nice solution here is you can use the divide remainder operator. Now I want to divide each random value by the length of the character set. Now just dividing would provide a very large number, but the divide remainder operator returns is the remainder of this division. And the remainder is never going to be greater than the length of the character set that we are dividing by. So that's a nice way that we can get an index value for characters that isn't greater than its length. Okay, so now this loop has assigned a value to password. All we need to do to complete the function is to return the value of password. Now, just for this example, before the return, I'm going to add a console log so we can see the value of password that is being returned by the function each time. I'll call it a few times with some different values. So we'll try five. 10 and I'll also call one with 15. Now, if I head over to the browser, you see that we have three random passwords here of different length using letters, numbers, and special characters. If I refresh, I get three new passwords so I can keep doing this and it will keep providing me with strongly random passwords. Now, something you may want to add here if you have in mind a specific length for the password you want to generate is to add a default value for length. So if I say eight, this is going to generate a password of length eight if I don't pass in a number as an argument when I call the function. So this won't make any difference to the passwords that I'm generating. These are still of the same length. But if I call create password now without specifying anything as an argument, it's going to generate a new password of length eight. So that is all you need to do to create a strongly random password generator in JavaScript. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button down below this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this from us in the future, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.